here is a a rock classic and I think a lot of people who've been who've been listening to rock for the past 15, 17, 20 years are going to remember Korn. So these guys what they did with this album was it was pretty successful and I think it lasted well into 1999 and their success just reached a magnitude that was pretty good. They're, you know, you may think that their peak years was like 2001, 2003 or something like that. I don't know a ton about them. I recently decided to start listening to them and they were one of the first ones to turn to when I looked for metal music. So between them and a few others, I think this is one of the great starting points if you haven't fucked with metal. Because the energy on here is like really excessive. It just is so pulsating that I think a lot of these cats, if you haven't played this to death, is easily going to fill several nights and weekends and months. So I think really, yeah, it's just pretty much this album. You can tell by the sales if you look it up that it's you know this is one this is where you need to start and if you haven't listened to it you need to renew an interest in it but it is dated that's the only thing so you can smoke to this the first several songs on this album are some of the great ones to go to i think pretty dead bodies everywhere seed got the life freak on a leash are some great songs to smoke to i mean I will say that some people who smoke are calmer than others, so a lo this album is not necessarily smoker's lore. It's not like, you know, you're going to go to sleep and, you know, do whatever. It's It's kind of, it's supposed to get you out of your seat and get you excited, which is something... I don't, I review these sorts of things, but it just doesn't happen all the time because I have been so focused on rap and that sort of thing. But when I do, I can tell the ones that are really energetic. So this is one of those such things. It's likely that, you know, this is just mosh pit music and it's get hype music. This, you're going to want to do something when you listen to it. So the production... You know, out of the songs that were on here, I'm going to mention that there is like, I almost didn't get this CD because there's five second intervals and I thought there was something wrong with the disc, but that's dedicated to a fan of theirs that died. So if you get this and you can't figure out why it's skipping or something like that, it's because of that thing. So yeah, let's talk about the unheard songs. I guess the production... It's handled well, but it it's rock based, and I'm just not quite as used to that yet. You know, I always question why the the rock part of it. They just didn't keep that for the rest of the song, but they do new things after the second verse, and it it really gets hard to keep a tab on and you know organize it. So. But I do think the end, it's just manic enough for it, that to still be a good time. But the unheard songs out of probably out of 12 songs, I liked seven and then one almost song. So let's share those. The first four songs that you're going to hear are the best ones. It's on Freak on a Leash, Got the Life, Dead Bodies Everywhere, and then there's Pretty, Reclaim My Place, and Seed. And the almost song was BBK. Now, Children of the Corn I wanted to like because it has Ice Cube on there, but it was just too unorganized. I think there's a song with Limp Biscuit that sounded way too old of hip hop for me. I think they do it again on another song. But I like Freak on a Leash. That sound, I mean, a lot of this music just sounds really grim and 
just it feels like there's something wrong that's kind of the thing it just feels like so I want to say aloof and troubled that it, I mean at least from a production standpoint it does feel like you know you, you're just on the go and you know most people <laughs> I mean, there's just a difference between it, so, well, this is good. I mean, definitely, it blows any mainstream rock album out of the water just due to the fact that the atmosphere that it makes just feels so alive. And you couple that, I mean, this is, trust me, you know, it, it's good enough to have a good time with, but, you know... Freak on a Leash is a good one. I feel like Dead Bodies Everywhere and Got the Life for some of these real creepin' sounding songs. And Pretty kind of sounds a little bit different. That one didn't feel as heavy, but it's still kind of... It's probably one of the more mellow songs. And... Yeah, I mean, most of the radio songs are going to be up front, but, you know, there's just understand that this was a commercial and a underground success at the same time. So, yeah, so the score, because I like basically 8 out of 12 or 13, I'm going to give this 7 out of 12. I'm going to give this album a 7 out of 10. I'm just going to give it a 7 because of the success of it, but there were still a few songs that I didn't like, and mainly the reason for that is is because the metal on there is too jumbled and unorganized that it, it's hard to get used to something and then have to listen to it change. So some of these songs, it's the execution wasn't that good, but you know, just like Limp Biscuit, I feel like these guys are pretty much the go-to guys for metal. And most of the songs on here are going to keep the pace. I mean, they've got the radio songs. It's not like, you know, if you're doing something, you have to hear people say, turn off that shit. You know, I think most people are going to want to get down to this, even if it is, you know, 17 years old. So... Uh, the future, I don't know what corn has been up to, but I know they've dropped albums into this decade. And also, the social score, I will give it an 8 social, just because of, you know, this went multi-platinum. And there's some radio songs on here. It's a rock album that, you know, people have heard. I know rock in the radio is kind of weird. This is something, you know, cats are going to know about this, and it's, you know, it's not, most people won't say it's boring. Uh, can it be topped? I think pretty much this is about real high standards metal, but, you know, just maybe one, two, or three more songs would have made it like a, no, you know, just flawless. So, I give this album a seven and an eight social. Subscribe for more fun. This is Corn Follow the Leader.